Supervising picking starts with good pre-harvest practices. You need to be sure that the orchards are clean and ready for the harvest. This is critical in avoiding contamination and injuries while the fruit is picked. Good orchard sanitation practices throughout the year contribute to good quality fruit. Before picking starts, the supervisor must know every day what picking method is going to be used. The supervisor must also know what restrictions the weather conditions place on picking. It is then also the responsibility of the supervisor to put together the picking team and to make sure that the members of the team have the equipment they need and that the equipment is clean and in good working order. While picking is taking place, the supervisor must check that the pickers are adhering to good picking practices and that the fruit is not getting injured or damaged. The supervisor then needs to make sure that the fruit is transported to the packhouses in the right way. The picking method that is to be used depends on whether you are picking fruit for export, juice or the local market. Picking export fruit means that pickers will use clippers to remove the fruit from the tree and that special care must be taken every step along the way to make sure that the fruit is not injured, damaged or contaminated. Good practices for export picking are described in detail in the Picking Practices module. Make sure that you are familiar with this module. It is also possible that the supervisor will be told to do selective picking. The manager will, for instance, tell the supervisors to only pick fruit that has a certain color according to the color charts, or to only pick export fruit. In this case, you must make sure that you are very clear on what is required. This information must then be communicated to the pickers. Give the pickers very specific instructions and, if possible, provide them with pictures of exactly what you are looking for. It is a good idea to have those pictures stuck on the side of the picking trailer or bin while they are picking, because then they can look at the pictures often to refresh their memories. The other method that can be used is snap picking. Always remember, export fruit is never snap picked. Because it is very easy to tear the fruit at the stem end when it is snapped off the tree. Snap picking is used when juice fruit is picked and when the orchard is being stripped after the export fruit has been picked. Citrus fruit must never be picked while the fruit is wet. The oil glands in the rind of the fruit become turgid and fragile when the fruit is wet and in very cold, humid conditions. When the fruit is handled in these conditions, the oil glands in the rind rapture, causing oleocellosis. Fruit can therefore not be picked during or just after it rained or in the early morning when there is dew on the fruit. As a general guideline, harvesting should only take place when the temperature is between 13 and 30 degrees Celsius and the relative humidity is not higher than 70%. Lemons should also never be picked during or for at least two days after a cold front, especially if the cold front was accompanied by rain, because this leads to higher incidences of pateka. Pickers are usually seasonal workers that may or may not have done citrus picking before. A picker must be fit and ready to work hard. Pickers are normally paid per bag that they pick and they will therefore always try to pick as fast as possible. Because they want to pick quickly, there is the greater danger that they will cause damage and injuries to the fruit. It is the supervisor's job to check that this doesn't happen. Remember that injured or damaged fruit cannot be exported and that every fruit that is lost in this way costs the farm money. It is your wages that they are picking off the trees. You also need to make sure that pickers protect their own health and safety and that they are aware of all possible dangers that equipment might pose. Make sure that all the pickers keep their nails short and that they wash their hands regularly. You must also be familiar with the standard operating procedures for emergencies for your farm so that you can apply them without hesitation 
if an injury to one of the pickers in your team should occur. It is recommended that there should never be more than 20 pickers in a picking team. If there are more than 20, the team becomes too difficult for one supervisor to monitor, and the danger of injury and bad picking practices increases. If there are too many pickers, it will also be difficult for the pickers to get to the trailer or bins to empty their picking bags, and there's a greater danger of fruit being damaged as the pickers crowd around the trailer. To start with, each picker will need a picking bag. It is important to check that the picking bags used by your team are without any tears, rips or holes. Any tear or hole must be fixed with thread and never with wire. Also check that the straps are sturdy and that they won't break when a bag full of fruit is carried. If you are picking export citrus, the pickers must each have a pair of clippers. Check all your team's clippers before they are given to the pickers to make sure that they are working well. Check that the spring is not worn out. The clippers must spring open by themselves after being shut. Also check that the finger loop is not loose. The blades should meet up and not overlap, because if they do, the stems will be torn and not cut through neatly. The clippers must also be clean and sterile before picking starts. In some cases, each picker also needs a glove. Gloves are made of strong material that won't catch easily on twigs and thorns. Before giving them to the pickers, make sure that there are no tears or holes in the gloves. If the trees in the orchard are too tall for the pickers to reach the fruit at the top of the tree, they need to use ladders. Ladders can be made of wood or aluminium and can have two or three legs. Make sure that the ladders are sturdy, free of splinters and burrs, and that they are clean. In the orchard, the pickers empty their picking bags into either picking trailers or bulk bins. Picking trailers are normally attached to a tractor and have a capacity of two to three tons. Some trailers may also have removable bodies that can be loaded onto a truck for transport to the packhouse. Trailers are normally serviced before the picking season starts to make sure that they are in good working order. Bulk bins are made of wood or plastic. Both types of bins are normally transported on low bed trailers. Bulk bins have a capacity of 350 to 400 kilograms. Before wooden bins are used, check that there are no splinters, broken planks, screws or nails sticking out of the wood that can cause injury or damage to the fruit. Plastic bins must be whole, clean and dry. Bin liners are used to protect the fruit against pressure injury, which leads to oleocellosis. It is the responsibility of the supervisor to look after and care for the people working under him. There must be ablution facilities for the picking teams in the orchard and they must have access to drinking water. Remember that a happy team is a productive team and one that cares about the product. At the start of every day, make sure that every picker has the equipment that he or she needs. Also make sure that the picker's nails are short and that they don't have any open injuries or sores. These must be covered with plasters. The trailer must be parked in the orchard where the pickers do not have to walk too far to empty their bags. They should not be picking more than two rows away on either side of the trailer. While the fruit is being picked, check the following. Fruit are placed, not dropped, into bags. Fruit that falls on the ground is not picked up. Low-hanging fruit is not picked. Pickers are not running with bags containing fruit. Bags are emptied gently. There are no long stems on the fruit. Before putting any fruit into a picking trailer or bulk bin, check that there is no fruit waste or plant material, like leaves or stems and twigs, in the trailer. Fruit waste can cause contamination, and twigs or stems can injure the fruit. Also make sure that plastic bins are dry, especially if it has been raining. Be careful not to overfill picking trailers and bins, 
because this will cause injury to the fruit. If the fruit is particularly vulnerable to pressure injury, as is the case with certain citrus types and in certain weather conditions, picking trailers should only be filled halfway and bins should be filled to one plank width from the top. It is very good management practice to monitor injuries to the fruit. The following method is a quick and effective way to pick up how many injuries, which are not visible to the naked eye, are being caused to the fruit. Fill a string bag with fruit coming in from the orchard. In a large bucket, mix 5 grams of indigo carmine, a blue dye, with 10 liters of water. Place the string bag with the fruit into the bucket and leave it for five minutes. When you take the fruit out, you will be able to see injuries to the fruit. This practice does not damage the fruit. Uninjured fruit can be replaced in the bins and sent to the packhouse. If you find that there are too many injuries to the fruit, you can speak to the pickers and instruct them to be more careful. Once a bin has been filled, it must be covered with tarpaulin in the orchard. If it is not immediately transported to the packhouse, it must be placed in the shade out of direct sunlight. If bins are transported on a truck, they must be stacked two to three high. Here it is especially important that the bins must not be overfilled. If they are, the fruit on the top will be squashed and will push down on the fruit below. Picking trailers are also covered with tarpaulin once they are filled and normally transported to the packhouse immediately. During transport, care must be taken that the fruit is not unnecessarily bounced around in the bin or trailer. It is important that farm roads are repaired before the picking season and the tire pressure of the trailers must be adjusted to ensure as smooth a ride as possible for the fruit. The tractor must not drive too fast on dirt roads, again to protect the fruit against damage and to prevent dust from getting onto the fruit. <laughs>